CGC dropped a bomb on us yesterday with new price increases for their services. I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and possibly some valuable information. Stick around after this. What's going on everybody? My name is Kevin Vidinia and welcome to my channel Super Power Review. On today's video I'm going to be talking about CGC's price increases for their services coming for 2022 and I'm going to be also sharing my thoughts and opinions and maybe some valuable information on the topic. But before I get into all that I want you guys to please Smash that like button if you like today's content or if you find it helpful. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts about the CGC price increases and subscribe to the channel to show your support. So I'm going to be showing CGC's website on their new information about their price increases. So if you have your books uh, submitted by January 18th, uh, then you'll have the older prices of 2021, but they also have to be at the Sarasota, Florida headquarters by February 18th of 2022. Now, I'm going to just be breaking down some of the prices for comic books. I'm not going to get into posters, cards. I know you guys are mostly here for the comic books, but let's take a look at the new price increases right now. We have CGC comic book grading tiers and services. Uh, a modern tier fee has changed to $24. That is a $2 price increase. We have an economy tier fee changed to $35. That's a $2 price increase as well. We also have an express tier that has changed to $130 and that is a $10 price increase. Now I also want to talk about some of the signature series uh, grading tiers. Those have changed uh, just like everything else but uh, I find this pretty important because I am a guy who likes to use signatures. Uh, so we have a modern tier of $39. That is yet again a $2 price increase. We have an economy tier that has changed to $50. That's a $2 price increase. Standard tier to $95. That's a $5 price increase. And then we have an express tier that is $145. And that is a $10 price increase. So a lot of people are mad, right? CGC dropped a huge bomb on us. So uh, I was reading through the comments and you know, I just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions on it. And to be honest, I'm not really affected by these prices too much because one, I do not have a paid CGC account. I have a free account, which is kind of useless right now because CGC doesn't do any Comic Cons anymore. So I can only send them off to CGC if I want a reholder and such. But uh, again, I'm not too affected by these prices. I do use CGC once in a while for signature series. I used to send off my books to a facilitator to get them signed and graded and whatnot. But again, I, I hardly ever use CGC for anything. Maybe once in a while a reholder. I even actually have a book that I need to send off to get a reholder. So again, a lot of people are pissed. And the main reason why people are so pissed off is because they just did this six months ago. <laughs> they just had a huge price increase six months ago. So within a uh, less than a year, CGC has changed their prices twice. Now, a lot of people might say, well, Kevin, you know, this is not a big deal. Those aren't huge price increases, but it adds up if you're a person who is consistently sending books to CGC. I think it's crazy also that they have these price increases where people are waiting six months to even possibly a year for their books to come back. So if CGC, you know, had their price increases but cut the turnaround times in half, I would maybe get it. Also, I would be a little more understanding about this if CGC um, had better quality control. And that's, that's the biggest problem for me, really. You know, you're getting stuff like scuffed cases. You're getting things like uh, hair in the slabs. <laughs> um, fingerprints on the mylar that the book is encapsulated in. Uh, even cracked cases, broken cases comic books being damaged, destroyed, labels being misprinted with the wrong book is and such. So, you know, quality control, I would have to say, is the biggest problem with CGC right now. And uh, the turnaround times, yes, are absolutely atrocious. I mean, I remember when CGC's turnaround times for a modern book was four months. And like I said, you're lucky if you get it within six months now. So if CGC, again, were to cut the turnaround times, uh, have better quality control. I think that these price increases 
would somewhat make sense. I feel like people are also disappointed by this news because they feel like they're being punished for sending books into CGC. You know, CGC is like, uh, you know, we can't handle all this workload, so what do we do? We're going to maybe increase the prices and that's going to thin out our clientele for, you know, sending in these modern books that are nearly worthless. So now that I've, you know, put aside some of my thoughts and feelings, about you know the new price increases let me share some maybe some valuable information to you and you can take with you know you can take it for what it is um, here are some of my suggestions I know a lot of people are angry and a lot of people were saying that oh you know CBCS is looking pretty good right now I'm gonna go off to CBCS in the long run CBCS I mean maybe within a month's time maybe even next year I don't know uh, but speculation CBCS is gonna go up in prices as well you have Beckett that's gone up in prices PSA has gone up in prices for their grading tiers. Everything is just going up. So eventually CBCS is going to be going up in price and uh, you're going to, you know, maybe have longer turnarounds possibly than CGC or more or less the same. And maybe down the line, since everything that's happening with everyone being pissed off with CGC and, you know, maybe CBCS, like I said, is going to increase in prices. Maybe like in the next decade, getting your comic books graded won't be so cool. <laughs> maybe people are just going to go, hmm, like, um, you know, that's cool and all that you have your book graded, but how long did you wait for that book to come back to you? And how much money did you pay just to get that grade, even if it's a lower grade? I don't know. Maybe CGC and getting books graded is going to become a thing of, of the past, maybe? Probably not. Also, if these price increases have, you know, spread you out thin and you can't afford these uh, price increases, maybe you're better off just taking your book, slapping it in some mylar, let that mylar magic do its work, and just put that comic book in a top holder and then you can display it on your shelves. Or you can do the number one thing that I have been doing for years. Like I said, I do not have a paid CGC account. I've had a free account for years and I've hardly used CGC services, okay? I've maybe used CGC maybe a dozen times from you know, uh, six years of comic book collecting. So my number one advice to you, and a lot of people used to think I was crazy for doing this, but maybe this is gonna sound a little more sane to you. Just buy the book in the grade that you want it in already. That's what I have done for years. People will say, oh, well, you're spending more money that way. Well, guess what? I get the book that I want within a week from shipping. I don't have any high expectations. How many times have you heard your friend who's a comic book collector send off this book that they want in a 9.8 or an expected grade and it doesn't happen? And so they have wasted time, they have wasted money, they have to go get yet another book, submit it to CGC, wait another six months, it comes back yet again, not the grade they want. So again, I don't have any high expectations. I already see the flaws of the comic book. Maybe once in a while I have to send the book off to CGC to get a reholder. But that is my best advice to you. Just save the the time the you know not so much the money but the time and the frustration and just buy the book that you love in the grade that you want it in already uh guys let me know again in the comment section down below smash that like button if you liked uh today's video and if you want to show your support to the channel don't forget to click on that subscribe button i'm kevin vidinia for superpower review and i will see you guys next time